Hey you guys, it's been two weeks, and I mean the wear on Manicure Color has been amazing. But the most important thing is not just the application, it's going to be the removal. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it gently with a file, some cotton foil, and a little bit of acetone. All you need is a little bit of patience and a little bit of understanding. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and get this ready. So I'm gently going to push her cuticles back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my medium grit file or sanding band and I'm going to break through the surface of the gel top coat. It's really important to remove that shiny surface so it gives acetone a chance to penetrate through and make the product brittle so it's easy to remove. One of the things that I want to be able to do when I'm actually coming through the surface with my medium grit file is not just remove shine from the perimeter of the nail, but what I want to be able to do is gently file through the center just like that so it gives an opportunity for the acetone to break through not only around the edge but through the center so it makes it nice and soft. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one cotton ball for all five fingers. There's no reason for you to saturate a whole ball and let it sit on top of the fingernail. We obviously don't want to overexpose the natural nail to acetone. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pluck off a small little piece. I'm going to saturate this with acetone. I'm going to place that right on top. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little uh, two by five piece of aluminum foil and notice that we have shiny and matte. I want to make sure the shiny side is down. I'm going to wrap it all the way around her finger just like this and then I'm just going to fold it back nice and tight on her nail just like that. Once we have the fingers wrapped, we're going to wait 10 minutes and then we're going to use some basic tools to remove it from the hand and get it ready for reapplication. All right, you guys, we've been waiting for this. We're about to get into the removal. It's been 10 minutes and I'm going to show you how easy it is to get off. Now, just remember one thing it has everything to do also with the application. The thicker you put it on, the harder it's going to be to get off. So again, if you are adding glitters and all this kind of funky stuff to it, the key is to take down as much as you possibly can with your hand file or your arbor band on your electric file. And remember, you're not touching the natural nail, you're on top of the enhancement. Get it as thin as you can, the acetone is going to break it down fast, and it's going to look just like this. I'm going to actually take my band, wow, and as you can see, most of it is already peeling off the nail. I'm going to go ahead and take the orange wood stick and just kind of scrape away whatever residue. Remember, when we actually did this, the majority of the tip had protein bond. For your problem lifters, if you want an extra grip to it, protein bond is going to make it a little bit harder to get off, but not a problem. I'm actually going to use, as you can see, I'm just using the orange wood stick to push down and around, right? Push down and around to get that off. Push down and around to get that off. Nice and easy. All right, and as you can see, like all of this area is the base layer, right? So it's not actually going down to your natural nails, which is fantastic. Again, I'm gonna not worry about that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Let's go ahead and clear this out of the way. Just 
go ahead and push that away. Now what I like to do is take just the bladed end of the, of the pusher, just lightly give it, lightly scrape. There's no reason to be aggressive. Just a real gentle, easy scrape to remove whatever excess there is right here. And again, remember, this area that's built up right inside here is stuck with protein bonds. So it's on the free edge. I'm not actually on the nail. I'm just gonna use the bladed side just to lightly scrape that away. It's amazing how easy this is to get off. Do the same thing right here on the ends. Same thing right here on the ends. And again, let me just go ahead and take the orange wood stick and just kind of push this away. All right. Go ahead and take the blade inside. Lightly get that off, just right there on the tip. And again, perfection. Now what I'm gonna do is take the sponge buffer and get ready to rock and roll. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just amazing. Not only how easy it is to remove, but once you actually take the buffer to the surface, you're actually re-prepping it for reapplication. Rock and roll. Remember you guys, it's not the tools that do damage, it's the fools that do damage. So if you understand how to use your tools properly, you're never going to be a fool.